Hold up, YNAB has eight different auto sign buttons to make assigning all your dollars even easier. Did I really even truly know this myself? Eight? Cause wow. I feel like generally speaking, there's usually two kinds of YNABbers, okay? The kind who want maximum efficiency, know all the ins and outs of every single function and use them to their utmost ability. And those who kind of prefer the slower, more do it myself, manually assigning kind of pace. You know what I'm saying? I personally, myself, am generally more of the latter, but today we're gonna get into the nitty gritty and learn how to be auto assign savvy. To kick us right off, after you've completed your first month in YNAB, you'll gain access to the eight satisfying auto assign buttons available on both the web and mobile apps to make assigning all your sweet little dollars in YNAB even more efficient. On the web app, you can locate all eight auto assign buttons in the right hand column of the app or by clicking the assign button at the top of YNAB under the auto menu. The mobile app features six of the eight auto assign buttons and can be accessed by tapping assign money and auto auto assign by as long as you have money to divvy out and ready to assign. So if you don't see this button, don't panic. That's simply because you don't have any money and ready to assign. So like, what would you even use those buttons for? Now, auto assign buttons can be used on your whole spending plan at once by leaving all categories unselected or used on a unique selection of categories by checking whichever categories, category groups, or focused views you wish to apply these assignments to. And just to clarify, only the buttons that are currently actionable will show up. So if you've selected a category group that doesn't contain any overfunding, you're not gonna see the reduce overfunding button as an option because it, because they can because it cannot do that. <laughs> and in case you were wondering, little shed note, hidden categories are not included when using auto assign. They're hidden, okay? We don't talk about them. Far and away, the most popular auto assign button is the underfunded button. This is truly the one auto assign button that I personally use all the time. Before even pressing this button, we can see from this number how many more dollars it would take to fully fund our spending plan for the rest of the month. But don't worry, we can still utilize the underfunded button whether we actually have this many dollars in ready to assign or not. Making sure to leave all categories in YNAB unchecked, click underfunded, and YNAB will take your ready to assign dollars and fund your category targets as far as it physically can in order of their priority. Now, when you press the underfunded button, auto assign will prioritize bills due sooner before funding expenses with later due dates, might fund a weekly target for just a few weeks instead of meeting the whole target up front. It'll consider any upcoming scheduled transactions you'll need to pay, and even consider any over spending you may have when divvying out those dollars. Before any changes actually take place, AutoAssign shows you a preview here of how it plans to assign your dollars. You can hit assign money to apply this assignment to your spending plan. Side note, any categories without targets will be left out of the equation as YNAB doesn't actually have any information on how to fund these. I mean, it literally wouldn't know if you wanted $5 in there or $5,000 in there. So make sure you assign a target to each of your categories if you plan to milk all the goodness that is the underfunded button. Now, if you don't wanna use the underfunded button on your whole spending plan, no problem. You can also choose a unique selection of categories to use the underfunded button on by selecting individual categories, one or more category groups, or applying the underfunded button to only a focused view. But do this with caution, making sure the number on the underfunded button is always lower or equal to your ready to assign dollar amount. If the number on the underfunded button is higher than what you have in ready to assign, you're gonna end up assigning more dollars to your spending plan than you actually have, which is a big no-no, we know this. Only assign the dollars you have right now to the categories you can, and when more money flows into YNAB later, continue to fund those categories you weren't able to fund before. Our next auto assign button in the lineup is assigned last month. Now this button will assign the exact same amount of money to each category that you guessed it, you assigned last month, which is a super handy tool to fund individual category groups like your bills category group or a subscriptions category group that call for the exact same amount of money in each category each month. Now the spent last month button will copy the amount you spent in each category last month and paste that same amount into your assigned column for this month. 
a great tool to use if you were happy with last month's spending and want to strive to achieve the same spending this month. With groceries and gas prices forever changing, a lot of users like this auto assign button to fund a variable category a logical amount based on, you know, most recent spending data. Using the average assigned button will consider the assigned amount for a particular category over the last three to 12 months, depending on how many months of data you actually have for this category, and assign the average amount of all considered months to the category. A great button if you just can't make up your mind. I actually don't know. If you use this button, let me know below how you like to use it. And the average spent button, very similar, assigning the super honest average of the amount you've spent in a particular category over the last three to 12 months. Again, dependent on however much data you actually have for this category. This is another handy button for categories like groceries where our spending doesn't tend to be super linear or as a way to balance out how much we assign for our more variable bills like our gas bill or electricity from month to month despite the changing seasons. Clicking the reduce over funding button will take any money assigned to a category that exceeds its target or its need based on a scheduled transaction and send it right back up to ready to assign. So if you have a hundred dollar target set to a category, but the category itself has $200 available from maybe a previous month's rollover or an unexpected inflow to this category, clicking reduce over funding for this category will remove the hundred overfunded dollars from this category and send it back up to ready to assign where you can now divvy it out to some of your other categories that might need it more or build it further into your future for security. Now, these next two auto assign buttons are found only on the web app and not the mobile app and are really helpful for when you just want to kind of take a deep breath and reset the budget. The reset available amount button will take every single dollar in your available column and send it back up to ready to assign, leaving your category's available amounts at zero dollars, which is kind of exactly what it sounds like. This acts as a sort of mini fresh start, allowing you to reassign those scrounged up dollars back out to your spending plan however you want, all while being assured you're not accidentally defunding any transactions that have already occurred in these categories. P.S. If you notice some of your assigned amounts going negative after using this auto assign button, don't panic. That is totally normal if you had more available in that category than you had assigned that month. And we can always snooze these bad boys to get them off our radar. However, be sure to only use this auto assign button in the current month as using it in a future month will artificially inflate your future ready to assign numbers, which again, big no, no. And if that didn't make any sense, just trust me on this. Only use it in the current month. I promise. And lastly, clicking reset assigned amount will change the value in the assigned column to zero, which is a quick and easy way to rearrange your dollar assignments before any spending has actually occurred for the month. If this button is used on a category after spending has already occurred in it, you'll need to cover that overspending or assign money back to the category. So this is the button you'd wanna use in future months if you wanna do a future mini fresh start in future months. And PS, if no categories are selected when you hit reset assigned amount, it will apply this action to your entire spending plan. But why not we'll make sure you meant to do this before following through with it because that could get a little bit ish, a little messy. And that is auto assign in a nutshell. Use these buttons to enhance your spending game, give every dollar the job it deserves, or even just play around with them. Remember, you can always undo actions in the web app, making it a perfect testing ground to experiment with what all these different buttons can do for you. How do you use auto assign buttons? Listen, I know you guys are more creative than me. I'm, I'm not unaware, so I'm, I'm ready to hear it. Hit me. Oftentimes I wish I could remake a video after reading all your comments <laughs> because you have such good ideas about how to use YNAB that I didn't even think of. So for real, put it down below. Share with our fellow friends. As always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. And better yet, if this button just turned your lovely green and better yet, Better yet. <laughs> I got my hey everybody. What is this? What is that? Oh gosh, I'm just gonna leave it. Yes. 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 She's so good. Whoa! I feel a little zony outy. <laughs> Probably shouldn't do that. Yes! Good sentence, okay. Of overfunding from this category. Did I not just say that?
Did I not just say that? What if we all were just human beings now? Now that's something to think about. Okay. What? I cannot read ever. Oh my gosh. I have had the song Friday by Rebecca Black stuck in my head for like a week. <sighs> and it's Monday. That? Oh. Oh yeah. You just gotta come in with the right amount of hyperactivity and it all comes together. As always, thanks for watching and see y'all in the next one. What are you doing, little hand? Just waiting for a blessing. Mm. Okay. <laughs>